Hi, everybody. My name is Tiffany Bloomhorst, and I am the Assistant Director of the Ohio Professional Registry. I will be giving a brief tutorial on how to use the new organization dashboard screens. The new organization dashboard is a helpful tool for program administrators to complete their daily work. As we go through the dashboard screens, you will see the important information it holds and the value it can bring to your work. These screens have been updated in conjunction with the new Career Pathway Level Model, effective July 1st, 2018. We will start by clicking on your name in the top right hand corner of your profile. You may see a few choices here. The first choice is to get to your registry profile. The second choice is if you have already been given access to the organization dashboard, you will see this option listed here. We're going to enter the dashboard by clicking on organization dashboard. You may have access to more than one program's organization dashboard. If you do, they will all appear in the drop-down menu for you to select. In this case, Sally only has one program, so we will select that to begin with. Once on the organization dashboard, you will view basic information regarding your program. In the top box, you will see information regarding that program. The Enrollment and Capacity section is used for Ohio Department of Job and Family Services licensed programs and is pulled weekly from OCLQS. You can edit this information by clicking Manage. The Employees section is used to show the amount of people that hold a particular position within your program. This is strictly used as a handy tool in your daily work. Next, you will see the box labeled Step Up to Quality. This is where you would see any quality rating for your program listed. In this case, Sally is working in a program who is getting ready to apply for a Step Up to Quality rating. The Employee Verifications tab is one of the most critical parts of this screen. Please be sure to read the message at the top of the box. It reads, the following professionals have an open employment record in their profile, indicating they work for this program. To manage your employees, you must click either yes or no, indicating if they are currently employed at that program. Employees must be accepted into the organization to be included in the dashboard and on the program summary and program detail reports. So you can see I've added myself as an employee at this program. The administrator, Sally, will accept my employment record. Since I am currently working at this program, my information will show on the Current Employees tab, but we'll go over that in a little later. Please note, if you are a Family Child Care Administrator, you must add yourself as an employee and verify your own employment on this screen as well. If the professional listed does not currently work for your program, you must select No and provide an end date. This will end date the record for the professional and remove them from your summary and your detail reports. The additional section at the bottom of the screen is facility information that tells you about your program and it's pulled from OCLQS. The resources section is a very helpful tool as you can click on the links to access important websites you may visit often, including Early Learning Resources Ohio and OCLQS. That completes the information listed on the main dashboard page. Now, let's take a look at what's on the left-hand side of your screen. First, you will see the Classrooms tab. This tab is a valuable tool for programs licensed by Ohio Department of Job and Family Services and Ohio Department of Education. If your program is engaged in technical assistance with your local resource and referral agency, you will need to have updated information for all classrooms on this page. You can do this by adding the classroom name, the maximum number of children allowed, the age group of the children, and by selecting a lead teacher for that classroom. You can update this information by clicking Add. The next tab you will see is the Applications tab. This tab is for programs interested in applying for Ohio Healthy Programs or the Mentorship Program. If you are looking for more information regarding Ohio Healthy Programs, you can visit okra.org resources page under the Ohio Healthy Programs tab. The next tab listed is the Reports tab. This is the page where you will find two very important reports, the Program Summary 
and the program detail report. Let's take a look at the program summary report first. You can open this by clicking Generate Report. This will open the report in a PDF document. This report is calculated and pulling data for each professional at your program and may take some time to load. You will see basic information on the report at the top and all your current employees listed below. You will need to check to be sure you only see current employees working at your program. If you see professionals who no longer are employed at your program, you will need to end date that employment, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. If you are missing an employee, it is most likely their employment record is incorrect and needs to be fixed so it will show on the program summary report. Check this report often and be sure it is accurate and up to date. For each current professional working at your program, you will see their name and open, hire date, and their current position at your program. You will now see a few new columns. The position history column will show all the positions held by that person in that program and the dates in which they held them. The CPL section will list previous and current biennium points and levels for each person and provide the assessed as level. The next few columns are all information that goes into building a person's career pathway level, including their highest level degree verified, whether they, the professional has a CDA or administrator credential, and the hours for the Step Up to Quality PD certificate. This report also includes the age group work that is listed in the employment record for that professional. Again, please be sure this information is up to date and you only see employees currently working at your program. The next report we're going to look at today is the program detail report. You will open that report by clicking generate report. It will hold similar information as the summary report. However, it will list all Ohio approved trainings and show both the first biennium and the current biennium for each professional in that program. This is a report you as the administrator can use to track the number of Ohio approved training hours a professional has in the current biennium. When the professional meets the requirements for the Step Up to Quality PD certificate, the marker on the left will change from in progress to complete. This report also now will show the assessed as CPL level for each professional in your program. Let's finish up by looking at the few remaining tabs left on the organization dashboard. The current employees tab will list professionals who are currently employed at your program. This screen is actively calculating information and may take some time to load depending on the size of your program. You may notice some professionals in this list that no longer work at your program. You can adjust this information by clicking the Remove button, entering in an end date, and clicking Save. This will end date that professional's employment record so they no longer show on your reports. It will also move them to the Former Employees tab. This is the list where professionals will go when they no longer have an active employment role at your program. So that concludes all the tools in the organization dashboard. As you can see, it's a very valuable tool in the program administrator's daily work. The key to a successful organization dashboard is by making sure each professional has a correct employment entry and the administrator is ending employment when professionals are no longer employed there. If you are seeing professionals not show on your reports, please be sure you have verified their employment on the main dashboard page. Please also be sure to check out our resources tab on our homepage at okra.org for additional information and handy user guides. You can now easily access the OPR resources when in your profile by clicking on the resources button on the top of the screen and clicking Ohio Professional Registry. Thank you.